Hey guys. guys, welcome back to our channel. Plots with a twist. We discuss books amongst other things. And oh, we need to start discussing some other things. I know. What other things do you guys want to hear? I don't know. I don't do much. The only other thing I do is she watch does. TV. And I don't even do that. She do stuff. Not for real. I play video games sometimes. Oh yeah, you are a gamer. Not no, let's not. That's a very you serious seen that title. TikTok where there's like my girlfriend thinks she's a gamer and she like playing this little like Lilo and Stitch game. That's, right. what I mean, like, <laughs> that's a very serious uh, that's title. Really the I game <laughs> on occasion, mm -hmm. not a gamer. Um, I, right now I'm playing Breath of the Wild. If y'all want to hear about it, See, I'd be happy to like tell something. You. But that's old. Uh -huh. I'm just late to the game. Um, I'm still playing Sims 4 and I don't even play it right now. But I love that game. That's my own game. So, if it's other things, let us know if you want to hear. But today, though, we're doing a tag. Um, mm -hmm. The Library Lovers tag, which is an old tag, but I don't think we've ever done it. So, yeah. We're so, going to answer some questions for you. Why not? Let's get into it. All right. Question number one. And I'm getting this off of... The Fancy Hat Lady Reads. Shout out to her. I'm getting this from her channel. Oh, wait. No, Kalida. I lie, y'all. Her <laughs> name is Kalandi. But shout out still to the Fancy Hat Lady Reads. That's the original? I don't know if it's the original. Oh, the original is, what's her name? Her name is Pie. She, Pie and Books. Oh, okay. She turned her comments off. Why, girl? What's what they did? It okay. was getting so many, like, hey, good right. shout out. Okay, so yeah, shout out to all those people <laughs> in the book, book talk. I don't know. <laughs> okay. She listed the question. Oh, no. I think that was somebody else she was tagging in the um, video. Okay, so. Well, you're tagged. Sorry. I had to <laughs> you already probably did it though. Right, years ago. Because this particular video is four years old. Oh. Anyway. Really? Real late. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so question number one. How often do you visit your local library? So... Things have changed. <laughs> Life has happened. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have plans. I just remembered because I did communicate this to my children. Mm -hmm. I do have plans to go tomorrow. Mm. To library with them? Yeah. I said we can go on the way back home mm -hmm. um, after school. They have early dismissal tomorrow mm -hmm. because I want my son to start reading. He has a reading log. Mm -hmm. um, and every time we go to the library, they get books, but he doesn't particularly want to read them once he gets them home mm -hmm. or he starts them and doesn't finish them so mm -hmm. try to encourage that but outside of that I was going probably maybe once a month now I don't I go very sparingly now just I get it all other ways now yeah. so what about you for me so there's a library literally within walking distance to my house and I haven't yeah. been there lately so I haven't been there lately that's your problem. You need to reconnect. With I know. The I need to go back to the source and get, you know, be in the world of books and kind of like take it in. But mm -hmm. I haven't been there lately. But prior to probably like <clears throat> these last few months, I was going probably maybe like, maybe like twice a month. I would go to the library. I did because it's literally like right there, like across the street from my job. So when I would get a break and stuff, I would just go to the library, mm -hmm. drop box, books off and stuff. It's a cute little library. And then I'd go there to study sometimes for school. So. I was going, but right now my life is hectic, so I have not been going mm -hmm. as often as I would like. But yeah. So number two, are you the type of person who checks out more books than you know you can read, or are you someone who only checks out the exact amount of books you intend on reading before they are due? So it's hard because typically when I do go to the library, I just put books on hold. Mm -hmm. And um, if I have a list, in my head of what I want, I'll just go ahead and put them all on hold because obviously they all, you know, will come to you at different, different times, times based yeah. on the list. Mm -hmm. And so there has been times where I just grabbed all my holes mm -hmm. and it definitely was more books than I could read. There's been times where maybe one hold is available and I go get it. So mm -hmm. it really just depends on that. But my intention is to try to check out books as they come. But then again, like I said, if I have it in my mind, I'm going to read it. Let's go ahead and just put it on hold. Oh, 200 people in there are in line i'm not gonna get that for a few months and then boom it happens back to back sometimes so. yeah so same sometimes when i go to the library i will like force myself to like just pick up books i will because, browse like yeah, yeah just browse but like, okay this looks cute and i will like just take out all the books 
and not and end up reading maybe one or two um but a lot like Kristen I put books on hold and whenever they come available I'll just go get, pick them up and try to read them when I can yeah. um so yeah and then for my boys I got them too many books one time. but they <laughs> said they wanted them all I'm dead <laughs> and then of course I threw in like I want you to read this right because like my youngest he will not read so mm -hmm. I was trying to get him a sight word book just make him read aloud to you I don't know the words. Oh, that's what he says. <laughs> he know the words. Okay. So number three, how old were you when you got your first library card? So I don't know. I was definitely in elementary okay. school. Same. I don't know the exact age. I remember enjoying going to the library in my actual school. Um, and that was probably like around fourth grade. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I don't remember the library in my school because I changed school. So I don't remember the library in my school all day. Um, oh, mind work. But <laughs> other than that, yeah, it was definitely probably maybe around that time because I feel like we used to go because my mom used to go to the library sometimes to like get on the computer. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I had a library card. And at one point I found my old library card, but I don't know where it is now. Oh, I wish I still had mine. Yeah, same. I think I was like in elementary school, like probably like eight or nine, like around there. I can remember going to the Macomb Library in Harlem, like where I used to live. Macomb. Yeah. Um. I was. I can't think of the full name, but I can like picture like the neighborhood. I don't know the name. This library was so small, y'all. It was literally like you walk in and it's like a wall, a wall, a wall, and it was like really small. But that was my little neighborhood library, and I can remember going in there and getting books and stuff. Um. I've always been an avid reader, not to toot my own horn, but I have. I've always been like a, a big reader. There was like a time in my young adult life where I stopped reading for a long time and then yeah. picked it back up. But yeah, I'll say like elementary school. I saw uh, people post videos about that. Like you read and then you stop. You stop. It was like you read Harry Potter and then you went <laughs> 10 years and you read anything <laughs> yeah. else. Like literally, from, it probably wasn't 10 years, but it was like but a good like... Potter, I I'm just saying. Some of them. <laughs> some of them. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, so number four. Get my boys you... card. Yeah. They just check out my memory. <laughs> be their own little memory. And teach them responsibilities or whatever. Um, number four. Do you go to your library looking for a particular book or do you check out anything that piques your interest? We Both. Kind of just talked about that, yeah. Um, so yeah, same. Um as before yeah i'll again I, our library will i'm assuming everyone's library has the same type of thing where you can go online and you know peruse mm -hmm. the catalog nowadays um yeah. so yes when i do that that's how i put I books on hold right now um but um when i go pick up the holes i will browse the owl to mm -hmm. see if anything piques my interest and I guess that goes back to the first question of do you check out more? Yeah, sometimes I'll add and be like, oh. Mm -hmm. And then I like to go there. I don't know if this is a question. But then um, I, my local library, I don't know if all libraries, has like a section where they have books for sale. So mm -hmm. I will look and see if there's. Oh, mine doesn't have a book for sale. Maybe it does. I gotta look. I've never it's seen usually, it. It's not a huge section. Mm -hmm. It's usually like a little shelf and they'll. I have to look. I've never seen that, but mm. I definitely have to check that out. Maybe it's my system. <laughs> We're but just yeah. fancy over in my system. Probably. Um, but yeah, same for me. Like, I will, when I go pick up my holes, I'll walk around and just see if there's anything there that I'm like, okay, I can read this. Um, nine times out of ten, I'll pick up them books and then not end up reading them. But sometimes, mm -hmm. there's every once in a while I have picked up a book and I'm like, okay, I'm going to read this. And I have ended up reading it, so... I feel like it when I get depends. older, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just go to the library, see what's mm -hmm. there, and get that and read it and stick to it. Be one of those. Whenever I go to my library, there's always somebody, usually like an older person, they're always like sitting in the library just reading their book. I'm like, I wish I had time to do that. <laughs> I'm but, do that, yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so number five, do you use your library to check out book, just books or do you also check out DVDs, audiobooks, etc.? Yeah. So... <laughs> Um, Libby, if you aren't familiar with Libby, I would highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. It connects to your library card. But on Libby, you have audiobooks and ebooks. So that is uh, what I use outside of the other, like streaming. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird to call book streaming. But other apps that I have that <laughs> you can get audiobooks and ebooks on. Yeah. Um, 
So I do get audiobooks quite frequently. Um, ebooks not as much but i have gotten an ebook a time or two mm -hmm. and then um i have gotten a dvd for the boys um that they didn't even watch <laughs> that i think about did they watch it i don't think they watched it and then um did i get a game i might be lying about that but definitely have gotten a dvd but I don't do that often but mm -hmm. Yeah, same. The only thing I will um, do is like the audiobooks through Libby, of course. That's how we listen to a lot of our books. Now we have like the Scribe, Scribes, Ever mm -hmm. Ran, whatever app, but Libby is free and it connects to your library card. So that's always yep. nice. Which I feel like a lot of people have gotten onto Libby because now it takes me forever in a day, even way longer than it used to before, to yeah. get books. Like, I just and now they added books. a feature. They tell you how long it's. The yeah, estimated how, way, the how, way, many how many people, people and it'd be like thousands. how many copies they have. <laughs> yeah, so like, ugh. yeah, which is great. I'm oh. glad everybody's doing <laughs> it, but it's just like, oh, now I can't get my books. But yeah, I don't really, I haven't really taken advantage of like the um the other products they have there, but definitely audiobooks. Get you some DVDs. I, sh I don't even have a DVD player. Oh no. Well, technically, I don't. I have a PlayStation. You got a PlayStation? Oh, we do. Hmm okay so what was that on number six from what section of your library do you check out a majority of your books ya middle grade adult nonfiction, what what so i'll browse the ya section usually i don't see anything that screams out at me because i just i usually realize i i don't just read ya ya comes to me the mm -hmm. ya recommendations come to me so it's not like something i don't see as many books in ya half of the time i'm like what are these books mm -hmm. um but i will browse that section i'll do fiction mm -hmm. um and that's about it i will look at large print <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah because a lot of the books that are not available yeah sometimes regular, they're, they're large, they're large print. print give me that large print make me feel like i'll read it faster anyway <laughs> Oh, read a sentence, turn a page. <laughs> um, and then other than that, that's it. I mean, my library usually like thrillers and stuff. They're mm -hmm. in the fiction. Um, I don't recall if it has a separate section. Does it? Like, thriller? Uh, it, I think it depends on your library, like how much space they have. But um, yeah, you just mine like in the fiction. Yeah, it's all so. in the fiction. And then do not go to nonfiction. Um, I go to children's <laughs> and. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't go to magazines. I don't go to anything else besides those. So Okay, so kind of the same. I normally just look at fiction. You go to I haven't you know, I haven't read a nonfiction in a very long time. Um which what? I need to get back. I know. What was the last nonfiction I read, Kristen? I haven't read one. I don't know. You exactly. need to be reading it. And if I do, Why it's you usually like what be. <laughs> Usually it's like a memoir or something. If I do read some nonfiction, it's not like a self help book or anything. Like I have, I've got off that train a long time ago. And not that I don't think, like, anyway, I'm about to go on a tangent. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, I usually go to fiction. I will look at YA, and then in my little library, they have like a section right in the front that's like this little circle with all like the new like releases. releases. Yeah, I do go to so the that's I like to look at that because it's like. And then they got a little African American, you know, little section. I'm gonna go look over there too, cause it's usually like fiction, nonfiction, everything, and it's just like. See, my sec my library, one of them has like a new release mm -hmm. section, but it's usually just new to their catalog. Oh, so, okay. like, so it's like, so like I read that out, right? Yeah. But yeah. the other one is like, yeah, new to uh, new, new. Right. Um, so it just depends on the library I go to. Yeah. So that's that's basically it. Yeah, I don't really look at the um, nonfiction or. Yeah, none of that. Get back into your nonfiction, girl. I do. I need to, to get back in the real world. I need to get back I'm into the real fiction. world. Well, <laughs> fiction, but right, you, at this point, you be having some nonfiction. I do. I have Nothing's been grabbing my eye. Worthy. Who's who likes Or that? what's the one with Prince, Prince Harry? Please, I'm not interested. In <laughs> um, who wrote Worthy? Jada Pickett Smith. Good. I was thinking Michelle Obama. You know she had a new book come out I don't know, after I didn't the know. one after the one we read. Um, yeah, she had a new one. I haven't heard too uh, much buzz about it, but another one. Who just came out with one? Oh, it's a book. Maybe a lot of people that I can't read remember writing books. Carrie Washington. I would read her book. I would. I, I, I love Carrie Washington. So yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so last question. His was on Kindle. No. <laughs> last question, number seven. What is your favorite part of using your local library? Uh, well, <laughs> I, uh, let's say the politically correct answer. To support, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> support your local librarians. Support, support your local counties. You know, keep things going. It's a very useful and helpful place. And I want to make sure I'm putting my fingerprint on there to help keep it going for the people but otherwise because it's free um mm -hmm. it usually has a lot of things available that again i probably wouldn't normally buy mm -hmm. and so therefore wouldn't normally read um and then my it's nice to share it with my kids um and they see me reading um and so i need to start reading more in front of them um, just so they can, you know, create that association like my mom reads mm -hmm. and maybe it hopefully ideally, you know, will pass down to them. But I just when they go, they get a little excited. So mm -hmm. it's just all, you know, nice. And I just like the vibe and energy. It feels very nostalgic, mm -hmm. even though it's like current. Yeah. It just feels really nice when you walk in. It's like, yeah, it's people here and they're doing like hey can i get the code for the printer and it's like oh, people still have to do that that is so <laughs> yeah. great yeah i think libraries like it really creates a space there's a lot of resources because besides books like if you go to your local library they have coupons and things like different events your library got coupons. yeah if you add but you have to ask them like they'll have like tell you about little events in your county like there's a lot of like different things One of you ours can play movies Really, I need to go. Yeah, yeah they like they have movie. like different. They'll have like classes, like all types of stuff. So it's just like a great resource for like different things, activities. When you don't want to spend a lot of money, go to the library. And of course, like nobody wants to, books are expensive. Like and they're worth it, but nobody got time to be spending twenty dollars on a book every time they want to read something. And what if the book is not good? More. So yeah, so it's like I'm definitely gonna be utilizing the library, and I just love going there it feels like a little community that you're a part of and just like going and i don't know i just like that you go in there it's quiet everybody's like reading their books into their own thing but in my particular library like they're very helpful they're very nice so it's just like i just i just love going to visit and feel like i'm a part of something i'm contributing to something positive in my neighborhood in my community so yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right we t we never really tag anybody specifically do the um, tag if you want to do the tag because we would love to hear it and you tag us so we can in these four it. years right. since you know <laughs> if you haven't definitely do it if you support your local library definitely do it for sure um yeah so like this video subscribe ring the bell and we'll be back next time bye oh look at me doing your thing